Yo, what's going guys? My name is Killer Sam for three and welcome to the first ever reaction video with a face cam. Beautiful me, right? So a uh, while ago I made one that is basically, you know, the video called I'm so effing done, but I feel like it wasn't so entertaining because you didn't really see my reaction. So I figured, you know what, I'm going to react to some videos where honestly, you guys can see how I actually react to it, how reaction videos are supposed to be made, alright? Don't ever attempt to do a reaction video with just your voice alone, alright? So, without further ado, these are the videos that I selected, and also, before I get into the video, if you guys have any questions for me, I'm trying to do a Q&A, you know, just to keep the content more entertaining than just Death Frontier 2, gameplay, blah, 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 blah. So yeah, guys, leave those questions in the comment section below, and I'll try to answer them if I find them entertaining. So yeah, let's get right into it. Alright then guys, so the first one is called 100 subscribers, thank you guys, so this is when I first hit 100 subscribers and when was it? May 13, 2012, and I started doing Death Frontier 3D or, you know, YouTube since 2011, so it took me almost a year or more than a year, you know, to reach 100 subscribers, so yeah, let's just hear how my old self sounds, uh, I'm a little excited to, you know, hear old killer sound for 3, 6 years ago. <laughs> Alright, killer. Don't make it too embarrassing for me now. <laughs> what the hell is this music? What can't you see? I come back from an FGS. Can't I have a rest? Bur <laughs> but you just hit 100 subscribers. <laughs> what? <laughs> Shock face. Okay. Yo, look at that old setup, that old template, dude. Good times. And 13,800 views. Respect. I did. Well, you know what I'm going to do now? It's time for what? Death Frontier giveaway. Yeah. Oh, look, I predicted it. Guys, thank you for all your support. 100 subscribers. Thank you, guys. It's what I've been trying to aim for. That. And you guys say my voice is embarrassing now? Bruh. You hear that voice? Let's hear it one more time. Last couple of months. By the way, my voice does, does not sound this way. It sounds that way. <laughs> It'll make the game too easy. It'll get boring. You'll just, you'll just see me kill bosses in less, I don't know, one minute or so. I mean, that's not enough for a video. And if I do, and if I make videos like that, I just know I lose subscribers because it gets... Nah, <laughs> so guys, what you gotta understand is, and in in whatever you do, for example, um, you make a video on gaming or you make a video on, you know, guitar or whatever, whatever you do, it doesn't matter how many times you repeat it, or well, it kind of does in a way, but it also matters how the execution is. For example, if I make a loot run video, I'm only going to I'm only going to edit the funny parts in. I'm not going to show you a two hour loot run because people won't even stay all around that long. That's why I kind of condense my hour loot runs or 40 minute loot runs to 10, 11 minutes, 12 minutes because, again, people don't have two hours to spend in their life. Trust me, I know. Anyway, that's enough for this video. Um, let's just go right to the next one. Uh, and yeah. So this one is called. Uh, Death Frontier 3D Q&A Saturday. And this one was uploaded on July 21, 2012. Yeah, it's been a minute. Anyway, uh, yeah, let's just get right into it. I think this is like what I am what I did back then. It didn't really work out because, again, I wouldn't make it so entertaining. But, again, now that I have all this equipment, I can do so much. But, yeah, let's, let's, see, how the, uh, let's see how this one came out. I love this intro. Man, I just so good. I missed, well, not the, this thing, but the song. Hey, what's up, guys? It's your boy, Killer Sam for 3. We're back with another different tier video, and um, I'm sorry for not putting... All right, one. That is one hell of a lot of background noise. Two. What is that music? i this thing up early because my Windows Movie Maker was being a bitch. God damn, is that Moonlight Sonata? <laughs> Jesus, I was running out of freaking music ideas at that point. And don't ask about the music because I ran out of ideas. I <laughs> <laughs> look at... I did run up ideas and I chuckle <laughs> I'm like uh, yeah I ran out of ideas. I'm running on music anyway, but enough of that. Let's start Oh never mind, that's actually pretty good. Stupid, <laughs> stupid but not stupid, but you know what I mean. Let's start with this shit already. Let's go. No, that's what I'm effing talking about. And why do you spend money on this horrible game? Dude, back then people were asking me, Killer, why why are you spending money on this game? It's so bad. 
All right, to answer your question about um, uh, spending money in this game, I don't spend too much money on this game, all right? I spent a lot of money on this game, all right? I'm going to be completely honest with you. Back in high school, I didn't have a job, all right, until maybe around junior year. So my middle school, through, through freshman, sophomore, my mom, my parents or my mom and dad would give me like five, six bucks for lunch. And, well, I was so addicted to the game that I wouldn't eat lunch. I would save the six dollars every day until I can finally reach a hundred. I remember one point I was so hungry. But I wanted that 577 Rex you see right there so bad. I was like, it's gonna be worth it. I have a YouTube channel. And I mean, I'm not getting monetized because you know, I don't know how to do it, I was a kid. But I want that 577 Rex, it's gonna be epic. I and then the marketplace just got messed up. <sighs> All right guys, so that's enough for this one. And I'm going to the one that I really wanted to react with a face cam, but I was, I was still unsure of it. So yeah, it's the same video, it's called I'm so effing Done. Oh, 9400 freaking uh, comments. I mean views. It was uploaded 2014. Retitle not quitting, just taking another long break. It was basically when Admin decided to bring in unlimited unlimited GAU19. I was in fury. I was like, what? <laughs> this will ruin the balance, and it did. Honestly, it, it did ruin the balance. Uh, I mean, it was completely pay to win at this point. I lost faith in it. So. Yeah, I mean, we're going to react it one last time, except this time you're going to hear my true reactions, my true face expression. So, without further ado, let's into it. You fucked up. You definitely fucked up. So, remember guys, now I'm 21. I have more or less matured in terms of how I behave, you know? If someone curses me out in the comment sections or, you know, Discord or whatever in my own videos, I will not lose it. You know, anything that happens in the game or whatever, I will not lose my temper at this point. Because honestly, when you when you kind of start going out into the world, you realize there are other things that are bigger than gaming, YouTube, and honestly giving a damn about what a troll has to say on the internet. I mean, if you want to, like, roast me in any way or form, I'm just going to be like, hey, man, I didn't, I'm not coming after you, honestly. It's a waste of my time. I have to go to work in an hour. Peace. But back then, <laughs> I was so invested in the game that <laughs> any little thing that I disagree with was bad. Trust me, you, do you guys think what happened to Zero Life was bad? I mean, at least he came out of it in a way of, you know, more or less matured. If Killer743 from back then was popular in Death Frontier 2 and I did this, dude, I'd be so freaking roasted. <laughs> I'd be banned. I'd be banned from this Discord chat, everything. <laughs> So yeah, what Zero Life did was really nothing serious. I mean, he just voiced his opinion, but at least not in this aggressive matter. So that's why when I saw his video, I was like, uh, I mean, really, I mean, you're getting that desperate, you know? If, if I called him desperate, and it was kind of true. I mean, this was back then. People were leaving this game so much that pff, the player base was like really on the ground, and the fact that Ammon had to do this in order to save his butt proved to you that things were going south really fast. Hey wife! I remember I, I, I went after his life in this video. <laughs> hey wife! <laughs> hey son! <laughs> um, uh, you think it's a good idea, you know? Uh, you know, uh, no, no, forget, forget my wife, she doesn't know. Forget my wife, she don't know about anything. <laughs> hey son, you think it's good to bring back a limited ammo gal? So back then, Admin would actually, you know, give his, you know, his family members, you know, overpowered characters to play the game. So obviously, I kind of brought that into the sense that his son knows about this game. Obviously. Oh, 19. I don't know, Dad. Maybe you know, give the players what they want. Oh, um. Well, we are needing money, right, son? Uh, yeah, yeah, we're needing money. Yeah, you know, you you, you want that PS4 and Xbox One, right? Yeah, yeah, you know, that's for the game board. Oh, okay. Um. <laughs> I need that money, so fuck it. Yeah, 19, unlimited. Ammo. You're you're desperate, alright? Again, you. What do you guys think Zero Life did back then, or what he did? You know, for this little period of complaining to Admin Bone. If you would have done the video that I made back in 2014, God damn! I could imagine the backlash to him. All right, what he did was this small compared to what I did or other you know YouTubers did back then. We were savages. Admin just took all the heat. At that point, he didn't care about the game. Honestly, I don't know. <laughs> right? I don't know what this money's going for. All right, and I'm. <laughs> If you're watching this video, I know it's going for Doom Warrior. You can't trick us, Admin. You're in need of money for Doom Warrior, because you see that thing? That game was a failure. Again? 
I went after his life. I didn't give a damn. You know it. It was a failure. Why did you copy Infinity Blade? Really? It re Infinity Blade was an iPhone game back then. It was very popular. So <laughs> a lot of people compared it to, um, compared Doom Warrior to uh, Infinity Blade. So <laughs> even I did. Hey, I mean, um, if you do watch this video, I highly doubt it. Can you explain why Unlimited Gal 19s and Wraith Cannons came out? Just, just not to roast you or anything, because again, I don't really give a damn at this point. But if you can just answer that one question of why it was released, even though nobody asked for it, that'd be amazing. You know how much is 12,000 credits in the store? 300 bucks. You know how much is 24,000 credits in the store? 600 bucks. 600 bucks and for a... Dude, back then, 3D was insane. I don't know what the hell Admin was thinking. Again, Admin, not going after it. I don't care anymore. All right, but I always had so many questions for you. All right, why were drugs implemented? Why were implants imp implemented? Why were these $600 credits and $300 credits implemented? Why was GAU-19 returned? Why was Wraith Canada implemented? So many questions for you because honestly, when you started 2D and 3D, they weren't bad, honestly. They weren't so, it wasn't horrible, all right? It's just that when you started doing the pay to win thing, that's when I really feel like your game started going because there wasn't no more competition anymore. It was just, hey, uh, mom, or you know, if you were, you, have, you have a decent job, you just take out three hundred dollars and you're overpowered. New shit like a subway that makes the game even creepier. Dude, I had so many ideas for this game, and and I again, I a hundred percent understand how Zero Life felt. He had so many ideas, but like, again, I'm not blaming Ammon. You know, he's one developer, he's one programmer. He can only do so much. And honestly, I felt like he at this point he started started realizing that the game wasn't worth it anymore, which is why I feel like he released so much stuff. All right. But I always suggested a subway or the woods, you know, make the game scary, you know, you want, like, if you go out there, you're nervous about what's going to happen, you know, I always recommended so many cool things, think about it, a subway, no light, just the freaking light coming from the top, uh, woods, you know, you'll find cool stuff, but, you know, like, it's just no lights, you know, make the game scary, you know, that was my, that was always my ambition for this 3D game, any 3D or any, you know, a 2D game, if they do something like it can be like the most stupidest looking game but if you put like areas like for example the woods or or again the subways it makes the game more suspense like it makes it more like random you never know what you're going to encounter down there or out there where there's no light just your flashlight and that's it you know that's what i feel like 3d or death in tier 2 is missing that's scary 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 surrounding you know again Death Frontier 2 has a lot of things going for it, all right? But if Admin takes advantage of, you know, his game, it can become a beautiful thing, you know? I would love to make a loot run in the subways or in the woods. But again, it's a very long thing, and I don't, and I feel like it's going to take a long time before that happens. So, yeah. Anyway, guys, I'm done with the reaction, you know? You can check these videos out in my, uh, in the comment section below, in the description below. Um, but yeah, if you guys like these, just let me know in the comment section below. I mean, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and yeah, this is Killer Sanfrey signing off, and I'll see you guys very soon.